Hello friends, in this tutorial, I'll explain you how to integrate Windows AD with DB2 database or you can use the Windows AD users to log into DB2 database. The steps are we need to install few packages. We have to edit the etc host entry. We have to edit the resolve.conf entry. We have to discover the realm. We have to join the domain. We have to check the domain user and then we have to edit this particular file and we have to verify entries into this and restart SSD. And up to here, everything is done at the OS level. At the DB2 level, we will be only setting up this particular parameter, the DB2 registry variable and starting and stopping the instance and we are ready to go. So at the DB2 level, we have very minimal work. Rest all is at the OS level. Let's start. The install packages, I've already installed those packages, these packages, so I'll not show you, show you this. We need to add it, add the entry of a domain controller in etc.host. So let me do that. So let me add this entry. So going to add. So the entry looks like this. That's done. So this is my domain controller IP, domain name. Save and let me verify that that's done. So yeah, I got the domain controller information here. The next part is we need to add the etcresolve.conf and here again, I need to mention the domain information again. So let me vi this particular file, comment it out this. add this information, the domain information. That's done. Let me verify that. So I got the domain information in resolve.conf file. So I've done with this step. The next step is discover the realm. So let me discover the realm. And that's done. I'm able to discover the realm. So I, this is the cluster domain name. So I'm going to join to this particular domain. And then the next command is join the domain and here this is the domain user ID, the admin user on the domain controller. So I'll use this particular command and give the password of the domain user, oh, sorry, domain admin. That's done. So I've joined and now check. Okay, before checking, let me show you if I have an user called So I, with the DB2, okay, so so with the DB2, I got this P, S, and D. So I got, but do I have any user called DB2 AD? So now let me, if I do DB2 P, that's the local user. And if I do the domain user, you see this particular, although this user is not there in my ETC password, I'm still able to get the information about this user. And it is saying that it is a domain user and it is coming from this. And let me try to log in to this user. So let me try without this. and it's asking for password and access denied. Literally, there is no user called db2 ad. But now if I do this, you see creating home directory. So this is the first time this user is logging and this user is coming from this particular domain. So I was able to. Now what I'll do is let me, let me switch to, okay, let me switch to db2p start my instance and try to see if I am able to connect to the activate one database called test. Clear my screen and list active databases 
and try to connect to this particular database using and you see this is the ad user although this user has been logged in db2 ad at sql dot cluster this user is still not able to connect to my db2 database let me do one thing let me try connecting so now i have connected and let me give grant connect on database to user this that's done let me reset my connection clear my screen and let me connect okay so not this and you see i still have processing failure i still couldn't get this particular although this particular user has connectivity connect authority but still this particular user cannot connect while even this user whom i gave the connect username and password and i gave the connect you see uh, this is the command grant connect on database to user db2 ad and this user has logged into the machine so but he is not able to still connect to the db2 database because we have not what we have done is we have joined this machine to ad but we have not at configure the db2 to communicate with ad so that's the next part so what are the steps what we need to do is we need to edit this particular file so let me before editing let's see if that particular file exists so we don't have any such file so let me connect as root clear the screen and let's see we don't have this file so let me vi this file and add some entries so we need to add this entries that's done then we need to verify that we have got this entries into my nss switch con file so we got yeah so we got password file yeah this is the three entries that i was looking for so we got these three entries in here in the nss switch so no need to do so after that i'll just start my ssd so that's done now everything at the os level is done so what we need to do at the db2 level is let me switch to db2p the easter's owner and show you what is my parameters here so i got only these two i'll set this particular parameter the db2 set db auth is equal to os auth db so i'll set this particular parameter then i'll stop and start my instance and i just want to show you okay so now the final command is this where we were not able to connect using the domain user so i'll activate my database and and you see sql authorization id is this so we were able to connect using this user which we failed previously once i have integrated db2 with the ad so i'll go again with the steps the steps are pretty simple this all steps you need to do at the os level and these are the only two steps that you need to do at the db2 level once you are done with this you are ready so what are the packages these are the packages etc host we add the domain controller etc resolve conf we again add the domain information we discover the realm we join the domain we make sure that we are able to see the domain users we edit this particular file we verify these nss switch conf that we have these entries we restart the ssd service we set the db2 auth variable to this particular value we start and stop the instance and then we are ready to connect to the db2 using the ad user i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for watching see you in next video bye bye